Well, hello, this is Arabella. <laughs> I'm busy making, uh, yeah, sort of paper doll, but then in a very different way. <coughs> so, excuse me. <laughs> so I was just playing around, and yesterday and the, and the day before, I cut out all kinds of uh, images. So I thought today I will want to uh, rearrange them and then make them into a paper doll so I have this all loose now still loose so this is from uh, one of my old magazines that I hoarded for many years yeah so I found her in one of those magazines that I hoarded so I want to glue her down let's just do that I also brought just um, a glue stick so that I have everything uh, in its place and I'm gluing it down onto recycled cardstock that I, uh, that I uh, bought once upon a time so you see on the back is also a girl I didn't know how I did that really but it was just about here I think let me just not do that and then uh, this is the lid from a teapot that will be her hat like that i think and now for the dress i was trying this uh, red um, thingy for a dress and this is from a painter I got this from an art magazine and this painter that does this I forgot his name I'm so sorry about that <laughs> yeah he he's pouring out of a teacup so I'm using these orchids as a part of her dress this I like because you see those um, shapes but I do want this a little bit more over here, a little bit straighter so that the whole dress is, yeah, so that it's, perhaps I could work with this one. Oh, this is a teapot, <laughs> this really big, large teapot, so. I also found this image so I could also do something with this but I will do that separate glue everything down and make it a little bit more sturdy Yeah, I also found some small stuff, it's from Happiness, that's also a little bit uh, Japanese feel and of course this one, I found also a few words, I really cut out a lot of things, really big ear <laughs> and also some edges that I thought was from the flow, from the flow. And also this sort of stencily like I also like that so yeah so I will see what to use and I'll leave the Japanese things that I feel like is a little bit more Japanese I will keep that uh, together a little bit so but I was really busy look at this <laughs> what I cut out also saw something like this that was also uh, interesting to me so interesting looking so perhaps i will use this on the next page yeah i also found some other stuff today so all of my old magazines and this one is on the front this also was 
one thing that I thought was really cool to put one of those big flowers in her hair or something. But I don't think I will do that for this one. So I found this and this is also a little bit... Um, and I found also a few uh, circusy uh, stuff. So this is also really fun. So perhaps for the other book, I didn't uh, commit to something for the other book yet. So here is also a fun uh, circus-like page that I could use. So I have uh, searched in art magazines. So I decorated the cards a little bit. So I put some white dots and then on the outside and on the inside um, I put some gold dots with my gold pen. And the box is now still drying, so it's almost dry now. And I also put one of those uh, embellishments and this, this is the a silver one of those uh, uh, paint boogers <laughs> from your paint um, tubes that's where they come from so the other side I also uh, is also still drying so this is how far I am now I also decorated uh, this feather that I uh, so I also this is really from a box, <laughs> so that's fun, right? I, I think I'm going to use that. So all the cards are now done. So my camera was keep, is keep shutting off, so keeping shutting off. <laughs> How do you say that? And also I um, inked the edges with black, so that's what it... It's giving it a little bit of an, uh, yeah, finished look, I think. And the box is now, now looking like this. So I decorated also the back, but well, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be a problem. I could also make sort of a belly band so that I can remove the whole box. I thought about that. Uh, yeah, she she's now dry. I also... Um, showed you in the be beginning of when I made was starting that I wanted to cut out these leaves so I did to put on this dress so so I think I want to cut her out and then uh, see how, if I can place her um, yeah if I can place her so I will do that and then I will be right back so I picked the last page, so I just picked uh, this one and I think because this will be the first geisha, so I put uh, her in the front, but I don't know if I will keep it like this. Also I want to make the, these a little bit more gold. Then you will have this page and then I want to create a little bit of a story. I don't know about these pages, but I saw that this uh, looked a little bit like a face. So I uh, drew an outline of, of this and then I saw sort of a face in it, sort of a totem pole. I don't know how you call that. And this I will change. So I will have this page and this page left and then also this page left and I want to put her on the last page and because my um, uh, yeah I'm editing and it d didn't work anymore so my movie maker doesn't work together with my windows movie uh, windows I mean <laughs> I think they don't uh, work together anymore or something there's a problem so uh, yeah so what I'm going to do is uh, take small clips and then show you what I did and I can't really edit so that's what I'm doing for now but 
I just wanted to show you what my plan is and uh, yeah and this way you still can see what I'm doing so I cut the flower off on the side so that I have a little bit more room she will peep out on this side I also made a fold a little bit so I will uh, yeah uh, make sure that she's really good adhered so that she doesn't come off I could also use my um, my foam tape for her but i think i will not parch her down i will see what happens and then i will put the box i will glue the box on this side or make a belly band but i think it will be uh, glued down still so it's pretty uh, <laughs> about the back but well <laughs> it is what it is right so i will uh, do that and then i will be right back so I clamped her down and I much parched her. I will put something heavy like a rice bag. That's what I saw that Lori Marie uh, does. So for the other side I opted to use the, the foam tape for the box. So only this side I will put extra... Uh, perhaps I did that the wrong way around now. So you can still pull it out so I will uh, yeah I don't know perhaps just only um, paint this so that it still can go out and this is a little bit the same as it was so I want this one a little bit over here it is a box on this side and a geisha on that side or a woman so I, I uh, will think about this one and then uh, do something else let me see if this still could yeah it will stay open in the end so <laughs> so this is just about how it is I will put uh, with the strength card on top the card that I need right now for my health I will put all the cards in let me see if I can still pull it out yes I can <laughs> and then um, yeah they just it's a, it's a snug fit so <laughs> and then I can do this so this is just about how it will look so uh, when I'm going to make the next page I will show you all uh, how this is and this is sticking out but I will do something fun on the back so so that is my, I didn't want to cut all that off, I didn't want to cut her dress off because I'm just happy the way she is and <laughs> yeah it doesn't even fit on this book but well <laughs> I think she looks really good, I like it the way it looks now and also the idea with the box even if it's on the same side and I also have this uh, feather I could put that in I also want to decorate the back so this is it let me know what you think about uh, my new page design and I'm excited I'm so sorry about that <laughs> at least I'm excited about it and I'm so sorry that I can't edit but I uh, did ask for a few different programs so I'm getting help with that so that I can uh, use a different uh, editing program so that it uh, yeah so that I can edit a little bit better and then I will uh, look out for one that I uh, like so and that is working with uh, the videos that I make so okay I will see you in the next video and this one also I want I will ink black I think the edges so that's something I will do and I will show you the finishing touches and perhaps new ideas as well for this page. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next. So this is a little bit how it looks. Like that. <laughs> I will see you in the next. Bye. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and let me know what you think. I would love to hear in the comment section below. Let me think. Let me know what you think i mean <laughs> okay i will see you there bye Doo -doo.
Doei, doei.